This fire broke out just west of Los Coches Road. The good news is it looks to be under control right now. Let's go live to News 8's Heather Hope, who's at the scene. Heather? Yes, very good news. As one resident we spoke to said, he's grateful that the wind is pushing the smoke and the small flames you can see down here out of the way. We're on his 18 and a half uh, acreage property, and he says at least 11 acres have been black, and you can see the ground. And then he put up this Trump 2020 sign that too has been burned down to the ground out here. He says he plans on replacing it, but fire crews are throughout this entire area of unincorporated El Cajon. We did speak with resident Dave Burton just to get his out look on when the fire broke out. My neighbors started calling me and said, Dave, there's a fire by your house. And I, I dropped everything. I was working in Rancho San Diego and I lickety split. Again, that's resident Dave Burton. We spoke with grateful that the winds are pushing away the smoke. Now this brush fire broke out just on eastbound Interstate 8 near the Greenfield exit. It's right at the border of El Cajon and Lakeside. It's blackened about 25 acres according to Cal Fire, and they have had ground firefighters as well as air aerial crews be able to douse a lot of water and get the red flame retardant along the hillside there to be able to get a great handle on the fire with stopping that forward rate of spread with no reported structural damage and the only home that was close to it would have been Dave Furton's and he's grateful that's not an issue. Probably a catalytic converter uh, off of uh, from one of the cars on the freeway. The most recent one was uh, December 8th. <laughs> And Dave has that impeccable memory. He knows exactly which fire and when out of his 22 years here. He says he's experienced 19 fires. Again, you can see the blackened charred area. This is a part of his property. He says it goes all throughout this 18 acres total, 25 acres. Firefighters are saying have been scorched. He believes it's due to catalytic converters as well as a homeless encampment that has burned just over beyond the hillside there. He said that also um, burned in today's fire. So we're in this unincorporated El Cajon area. Grateful that no homes were impacted.